I left my music on. One second. That's better. What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. So I realized that I have not been sharing something pretty important with you guys for a really long time, or at least it's been a long time since I've shared what my current routine is for my skincare. What I do in the shower, what I do after the shower. So being eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea free for nine years now, obviously customizing your diet and customizing your lifestyle and customizing the products and the routine that you have is of the utmost importance. So I thought today I would share my current skin health routine in terms of what soaps I use, how I use them, the products that I use after the shower. And what you guys will notice is that I use a pretty darn minimal setup, but there are some super key things that I do that a lot of people don't do that I think separates my success from people who might be struggling. So in today's video, my skincare routine, my current skincare routine. It's kind of scary how many people sabotage their skin health from using horrible products. Your skincare routine, i.e. how you wash your face, how you wash your body, and the moisturizers and the things you use afterwards can really have a profound impact on the health of your skin. If you're eating right and you have your customized diet all set up, you're doing some customized cleansing and detoxification, enough for you but not too much, but you're leaving the lifestyle aspect out of it and within the lifestyle aspect, I'm talking about the products that you use and your skincare routine, that will be a missing link for a lot of people. You don't wanna use things that are filled with chemicals. You want all of your products to be hypoallergenic and force sensitive skin. And you want your stuff to be as absolutely simple and natural as possible. Usually I go for products that have one or two ingredients only, no fragrances, no chemicals, none of that. Let's head to my shower, take a look at the products and the skincare routine that I use on a daily basis. Side note, before we do that, <clears throat> there is a lot of folklore in the eczema community that comes from, I don't even know where myths and crap comes from, but it's perpetuated that showers are bad and you have to avoid showers when you're healing eczema. I couldn't actually disagree more. For me, the meditation that I got from taking hot showers, the relief it gave me, and the ability to use this skincare routine only can happen in the shower. Also, where are you gonna do cold exposure if you're not using a shower or going into cold water, like an ice bath or something? So if you're not doing cold exposure, you're leaving gains on the table once again. I can tell you for me personally, I take sometimes up to two to three showers a day. I love cold showers, I love cold exposure, I love saunas, I love baths. One part of my routine that I'm not gonna share with you guys because I don't have a bath in my condo is salt baths. Salt baths were a absolutely <laughs> game saver for me. When I was in full flare up mode, itching, burning, just suffering, when I would get into a salt bath, and here's the trick with salt baths, you need to use 2.5 plus pounds of salt in each bath. I used to use five pounds per bath. That puts the salt at such a strong level that it actually gives you enough magnesium to make your body really, really relaxed. And for me, this doesn't work for all people, for sure. Everyone's different, everyone's, you know, has different needs and you do have to customize everything and this is what I mean. But salt baths for me were the most epic treatment. Like I could go from a level 10 flare up and it could knock it all the way down to a level four or five, which is huge. It allowed me to go to bed at night and sleep through the night and just stop being so uncomfortable and in so much pain. Without further ado, let's go to my bathroom and check out my products. Whoa, that's bright. Boom. And I did take a shower this morning, so everything's still a little bit wet. All right, so we're actually in the shower right now. And I should probably turn this way so you guys can actually see me. Um, there you can see my whole shower routine right there. It's 
literally that simple. Now I have two bottles, not because I use two different Dr. Bronner's for different reasons, but obviously this one's running out, so I wanted to give the new flavor a try. So generally the hemp almond, hold on. Son of a... So generally this stuff um, is my go-to for washing my entire body. And I'm talking my beard, my scalp, my face, my armpits, everything. This is pretty much all I use. If I'm not using that, um, I have started experimenting with this flavor of the Dr. Bronner's, which is their um, hemp rose. And it is nice so far. It's been working awesome. The other things I have in here is a little pumice stone, just, just for hands and feet, because I work out a lot and have calluses. And right here is, this is tallow soap. It smells pretty damn good. The tallow soap leaves my body feeling ultra moisturized, and I like it a lot. It's kind of becoming, um, it's definitely my second favorite soap to Bronner's. I've been using Bronner's for 11 or 12 years. It works really well for me. Um, but tallow based products are starting to really surprise me at how awesome they are and how good they use. Now, here's something, um, this is from Nose to Tell, by the way. Nose to Tell.org, it's just their tallow based. Um, so this little guy right here, it's hanging up this little knit. And yeah, this company is a little expensive. I think it's a Japanese company. But this mitt is an exfoliating mitt. And all you really do is pop this sucker on and use it to gently exfoliate whatever parts of your body need exfoliating. I use this thing everywhere. Literally, literally all parts of my body, including my face, including my arms. Now, obviously, when I'm using that on my face and on my scalp, I do it very gently, but on the rest of my body, I do a vigorous washing with it and a vigorous usage of it because it helps stimulate and move my lymphatic system, which is ultra important when trying to heal your skin or keep your skin nice and healthy. And for me, that's absolutely it. I don't use any type of shampoos or conditioners or anything. It's Dr. Bronner's or the tallow soap. And I use one more product, which I will talk about once I get out of the shower. I use my pumice stone, I use my exfoliating mitt, and that is 100% it. Now, how often do I soap up and wash my entire body? Almost every single day. Um, that's not, I don't think everyone needs to do that. Um, for me, I'm extremely, extremely active. I do usually two workouts per day and it's pretty warm out, it's 80 degrees yesterday, so I'm sweating a lot, and I go from working out to being in business meetings or working with clients or publicly speaking, and I gotta be fresh and clean. Also, my skin doesn't dry out from this routine. Um, here's why. So then if you look at the rest of the stuff that I use, here's what I use for moisturizer right now, which is the nose to tail skin food. This product is dope. Um, it's it's just clean and easy. I do have a full length video on this stuff. Um, if you want to see that, just go search for it. Um, I do really enjoy this product. It really leaves my skin moist all freaking day. Here we have a little blend of coconut oil, jojoba oil, and tallow. So this is kind of my homemade remedy guy. And I use this often as well. Generally, uh, I just, Put a little bit on my feet and hands, uh, legs and arms if they're a little bit dry, but that's pretty much all I need. As far as deodorant goes, I use this stuff. Um, this is Tom's, and it's the Mountain Spring Deodorante. And it's nice, it's aluminum free, as you can see. Aluminum free, no artificial fragrances, no artificial preservatives. I've been using Tom's for a while. There's also Jason's that I used to use. And I like both of them. Honestly guys, that's the whole routine. That's everything I do on a daily basis. Um, there is one other thing that I don't have and I'll explain that to you 
right now. So one of the things that I don't have on hand that was not in my shower that typically is comes from the Dead Sea Salt Company and it's their exfoliating face and body wash and it's a sea salt based little scrub, all natural, fragrance free, hypoallergenic, super great for sensitive skin but it goes along with what I was talking about in the shower about the importance of gently exfoliating either by using a dry brush before the shower when your body is dry or something like that little mitt that I use in the shower to gently move the skin. Key is to be gentle. If you are in the place of a severe flare up, you really probably should be exfoliating that if it's gonna cause an open wound. But for most of the people that I work with, and for me personally, I know that one of the issues is that there's a hyper buildup of skin cells. They turn over really, really quick. And when they build up on top of each other, you're not giving your skin a healthy chance to be clean and clear. By gently exfoliating and using tools like I'm talking about in this video, you do two things. One, you help detox and cleanse the surface of the skin, getting rid of possible bacteria, getting rid of buildup, and allowing the skin to breathe, if you will. Also, when you are doing things like the exfoliating mitt, dry brushing, or even just using your hands and massaging, you're pushing your lymphatic system around manually, which is ultra, ultra important. A big step in healing the skin is not only keeping it clean and free of infections and all that good sort of stuff, but also you gotta move your lymphatic system. You gotta get that thing cleaned out. You gotta get that thing balanced. So gently exfoliating is a major, major thing that I did that a lot of people are scared to do. And for me personally, exfoliating, was a major, major part of what made my skin healing routine actually work really well. I bring up laundry detergent, not that you should be washing yourself with laundry detergent in your shower, that would probably be not the greatest idea, but a lot of people forget that if you're washing your clothes in bleach and you're washing your clothes in harsh chemical cleaners, um, that's in your clothes and your clothes are on your body, it's on your dermis, it's on your epidermis and it will leak into your body. Your skin is a filtration organ. So a kind of a good rule of thumb, and this is so cliche, but you know what, it, it's a good cliche, is if you wouldn't eat it or put it in your mouth or if it has chemicals or ingredients in it that you shouldn't ingest, then you probably, as a skin disease sufferer or someone who has eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, sensitive skin issues, you want to avoid anything that you wouldn't be able to ingest. So if you're using a harsh laundry detergent, you are literally poisoning yourself. And it's a major, major trigger that most people don't talk about. Household cleaners, laundry detergent, the things that you spray in your air, perfumes, um, body sprays, body wash, all of that stuff is just gnarly, smelly perfumes and chemicals. It's not meant for human consumption. It's not meant for human skin. The good news is, is that it's super easy to find hypoallergenic, sensitive skin, fragrance-free detergent anywhere. And so what I did about uh, two weeks ago is I bought some super generic stuff from Target, all. This is not your health food variety laundry detergent um, that I've used in the past. It does not have on here right there. And this is something that you can kind of look for. It's recommended by the Dermatological Association, allergists and pediatricians for sensitive skin. If it has that label on it, <clears throat> generally what that means is it's 100% perfume and dye free. Now right there is where it says that. And you do got to pay attention to these things. So even a crappy brand like All is making a free and clear, pretty darn good laundry detergent. And I've been experimenting with this and it feels as natural and easy on my body as some of the more expensive natural brands that I've used in the past. So the key here too is with your laundry detergent, remember hypoallergenic, for sensitive skin, no fragrances, no dyes, none of that stuff. Make sure it's simple, make sure that it is for people who have sensitive skin and avoid harsh chemical deodorants and soaps at all costs. Now for you ladies out there, obviously there was no makeup aspect of my routine. I don't know how to use makeup. 
I don't know much about makeup, um, but I do know that many of my female clients really enjoy taking a break from makeup altogether and it makes their healing process way faster and way easier. Um, I'm probably not the best resource for the makeup department, so you're gonna have to do some research on your own. Some of you ladies out there who are deep in the game, um, are there good makeups out there that are hypoallergenic and for sensitive skin and that don't mess things up? That's just a part of this game I'm not too sure of. And that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember to leave all your comments and questions down below. All my offerings are down in the description box. You got your three phases workbook, which is the step-by-step -step guide for naturally healing your skin through a customized diet, a customized lifestyle, and a customized cleansing routine. Ultra important, there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all diet. So the people like Medical Medium, the people like Dr. Morris and the, all of the people that promote one diet and one cleansing routine for all people, that just doesn't work as you guys have probably already found out. Customizing everything is the utmost important. It's what I do with my clients. It's why I've had success. The Three Phases Workbook will help you do that. Also down in the description box, you have a link for Skinessa, which is my favorite probiotic for skin health. There's also a link for a consultation with me for those who are looking for private customize one-on-one -on -one coaching. Thanks so much, guys. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.